Hey guys, what's up? This is Mike back with another clone review. Today we're going to be diving into the house of Calvin Klein. This is old school, throwback, cheap. Uh, but like I said, if I was you, I would buy the biggest bottle of the fragrance that we're about to show, that I'm about to show, um, that you can because the clone in this bottle goes very fast. The sprayer is very heavy, so it sprays a lot of juice. Um, but today's compliment was vanilla and uh, tobacco. Uh, one person even got like an Obanum smell from it. And um, not churchy light, but just uh, Obanum smell. Uh, very resonant. Uh, sticks to the skin. So the cool thing about it though, uh, like I said, it's, it's a very old cologne. So you're not going to pay that much for it. Even getting a big bottle. And the one I'm talking about is CK1 Shot. Uh, for him as you can see this is the big bottle. This is a 200 ml 5.7 so uh, But look at this sprayer on this thing It goes way out there guys. So like I said it covers a lot The smell of tobacco vanilla just fills the air whenever you wear it. The good thing about it is it's becoming winter uh, today uh, it got up to like 80 something, but tonight it's supposed to be like 34 degrees. Perfect for that type of weather. Um, compliment getter. Uh, at least seven or eight people said, uh, wow, you smell great. So, and more for the younger people, guys. Um, younger people seem to be attracted to this cologne more than what your older generation is. But cologne has no gender or no age. So if whenever you want to wear something, wear it. It's totally up to you. Um, before we get into the bottle though, I just want to say real quick, thanks guys for commenting like I asked, for liking the videos, um, for subscribing. So that helps me get to where we need to be with the uh, as far as showing more and more fragrances. Um, because I love fragrances, guys. And part of being a collector, you get a... My, a variety of cologne on this channel right here because I'm into every cologne so I hadn't found a bad one yet and even if I do I'm not gonna diss on it um, because I know it took somebody a perfumer time to make that fragrance so I'm not gonna hate on no one um, but anyway though what I think about this cologne um, I think it's average as far as what you get out of it for the price that you pay for this, guys, even if you get two hours, even an hour and a half, that is great. Um, but CK1 Shock, it's a cool looking bottle. Uh, you know, the cap screws on. It comes with its own itemizer that you screw on. Um, but like I said, if you use a lot of juice like I do, if you use a lot of fragrances, it's best to buy a big bottle. Uh, especially if you're a heavy sprayer. Like with this right here, I started off with 15 sprays. Uh, before I even walked out of the house this morning. So, and I'm constantly at work. I let it get to the dry down, smell the dry down on it because it opens up very heavy with uh, like a mild tobacco, but heavy on the vanilla. And that's what attracts people to it. So, um, so within like three hours, two, three hours, the dry down finally kicks in. It's kind of like a mellow buttercream tobacco cake. That's the best way to put it. Uh, how would that taste? Probably terrible, but that's it. That's way I can describe uh, CK1 Shock. Uh, it goes into it like a buttercream tobacco cake. Uh, nothing like pipe tobacco. Nothing like a smoked tobacco. Just a very creamy tobacco. Um, so it's not too harsh on you, and especially for the people around me. Now, like I said, even with me spraying 15 sprays of this, it wasn't too heavy. And I'm close encounter with people at work. So they let me know about my fragrances. If they smell good, if they smell bad, oh, I wouldn't wear that. You know, that type of stuff. Um, but this guy at work that I work with, he always wears my fragrances. And uh, he gives me good feedback. If something bad, he'll just say, yo, Mike, you know, that's a little too strong. Or that one didn't fit the bill. So uh, at least then I know there is someone out there that this clone is not for. Um... And though I'm pretty sure along my journey, I will find some clones that are not for me. Um, but I'm still going to keep them in my collection. Uh, but like I said, guys, we got a lot more bottles to go through. Uh, I'm going to try to bring 
Tomorrow's video, I'll be able to bring, um, but Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I will not because I'll be out of pocket uh, those three days, and then I'll start back over come Monday. And uh, when we get to the, the end of my collection, where I can tell y'all guys, hold on, you have to wait till I get some more bottles in, uh, I'll let you know uh, so you're not in the blue wondering where I am. But uh, anyway... If you get a chance, guys, check CK1 Shock out. I'm pretty sure you'll be surprised. You may look at the bottle with the green spray paint right and then go, that bottle's going to be crap or that bottle for 16-year-olds. Not true at all. Um, a 40-year-old can rock this all the way up to 90. It don't matter, 100 if you want. But uh, anyway, guys, check it out. Like I said, if you're into that vanilla tobacco smell, there's other notes in here. I don't care to look at notes, guys, when I do my fragrances, even when I buy them, because I like it to be a surprise, and I like to kind of guess what's in there. So that's just the way I do my fragrances. If I'm wrong on the notes, then I'm wrong on the notes. But I know what my nose smells. So that's what I go by. All right, guys, like always, thanks for my subscribers, viewers. Keep commenting, keep liking, keep subscribing, guys. Put my name out there. Um, so we can continue to make this channel grow and grow and grow. So till next time, talk to you then.